like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the post-show wrap-up of the Shrimp Tank Podcast. I'm your host, Rich Jensen, along with my co-host, David Sims, and our special guest today, Eric Buckner, uh, CEO, president, and founder of 10 Fitness. At least I think I got all those titles right. right. Um, Every week on the post-show wrap-up, we like to bring you some of the highlights from the full podcast. You can always catch the full podcast at arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com, and you can watch this video. If you're watching on our website, you can also go to our YouTube channel. So we just completed a great time with Eric and uh, have some real highlights that we want to share with you. And David, I think you had the first question. Yeah, it was a great show, and uh, you really want to listen to the podcast, some great insights about starting a business. And for a company that here we all know about very well, it's a, it's a well-known brand, 10 mm-hmm. Fitness. And, um, and I think Gordon, I think Gordon asked a question about, you know, some thoughts for young entrepreneurs who might be thinking about getting into the health club mm-hmm. business. And uh, you got some really good, some really good thoughts and some ideas and some advice. Why don't you share that with our listeners? Yeah. So my advice is try to get some industry experience, work for someone else, um, hopefully someone who's successful in what they do so that you can learn a lot on someone else's dime. And then it's really critical that you choose the right market. Um, you want to find a market that's underserved. And then you want to you want to find a good location within that market. And a good location in our industry means good visibility, high traffic counts, um, those kinds of things. You never want to um, get in a hidden location just to save some rent. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Good and, point. Because early re- on, you want to save money. And, and, that's and that's right. Yeah, it's not and, worth the trade-off. And, and remember, when you're g- learning on somebody else's dime, it means earn the dime. Don't, don't take their <laughs> dimes for startup capital or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey, one of the things we other we also talked about, because you started 10 Fitness kind of grassroots right here. You built it up. A lot of national competition has come in. And yet you guys have managed to continue to, to be successful and to bring people in. So talk a little bit about what it was that helps you kind of maintain that success. Share with our viewers. Yeah, we we just try to be very critical and um, look at ourselves from the point of view of a customer or a member and always ask ourselves, what can we do a little bit better? And, you know, really whoever delivers the most value wins. Mm-hmm. So, you know, for us, it's just a, a race to... Um, um, give as much value as we possibly can. And I like the way you put it. I think you said we want to get at least 1% better every day. That's right. And if you do that, you're constantly thinking about ways to innovate in your industry or serve the customer, or whatever it might take to get 1% better. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You also talked about culture and the culture you've established. You talked about a process you went through and you guys got to 10 words that define the guiding principles. And that was really helpful. Um, and, and so when you tell our listeners about that, but also our viewers about that, but also about the 10 fitness name. I thought that was really interesting yeah. too. Yeah. 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 So 10 fitness, uh, you know, we started out at $10 a month. So the 10 comes from that, but also, you know, we tend to rate things on a scale of one to 10. So, uh, it's kind of a double entendre. Eventually probably we won't be $10 a month, but we'll still be 10 fitness. So yeah, yeah. at some point the, the number just kind of becomes arbitrary, like, right. a, like motel six. Right. Right. right, right. So, so. And then talk to also about the, what you, what you've learned and how you've led and developed in the culture at 10 fitness. Yeah. So uh, a few years ago we decided we needed to really define our culture and, um, figure out who we were because we were we were we were making some moves that in retrospect were the wrong moves and probably um, didn't fit our culture and so we said let's let's take the time to define this we um, basically selected a lot of words that um, myself and our upper level management thought that we were we put that out to our staff and um, gave them a way to anonymously give us feedback on whether they thought that was real or not mm-hmm. um, because we wanted it to be authentic and um, so we whittled it down uh, to 10 words that we felt like this is who we are, this is who we want to be, and we're going to make decisions based around these concepts. And um, that's what we've done since then. And it's it's actually very helpful in your decision-making process to say, yeah, that that fits who we are, or no, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, too, you talked about being willing to kind of do a hard thing, which is be willing to part ways with key people, or even if, if they don't fit the culture. That's even right. if they're, they're kind of in a key seat, a key leadership position, if they're not fitting with your culture, you need to part ways. Yeah, you, you really have to do that because if if your upper level leadership isn't all the way bought in on it, right. then it's not going to work. You know, your your frontline employees aren't going to take it seriously. Mm-hmm. Well, Eric, we want to thank you so much for coming on the Shrimp Tank today. It was a, a great time. I encourage you to go to arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com, download the full podcast, and pick up the nuggets that he was able to share with us. But for folks who maybe aren't familiar, although if you live in central Arkansas, I don't know how you cannot be familiar, familiar with 10 Fitness, but if they aren't, want to find out more, what's the best way to either get a hold of you or find out information on the club? Sure. V- visit us online 10fitness.com that's the the new numerical 10 and uh, find the location that's closest to you and go in and uh, visit us and let us show you around right and there are um, corporate plans available so if you're uh, in hr and you're looking for some fitness corporate benefits for your employees uh, check that out as well 
Hey, thanks so much for joining us. I'm glad you had the time to listen to this, uh, watch this video. Hope you have the time to listen to the podcast. Uh, until next week, stay safe. And remember, in the business world, to become a shark, we all start out a shrimp. Thank you.